Okay, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing three uh, different types of coffee, different flavors of coffee. These are all uh, limited edition from Door County Coffee and Tea Company. Um, I have the Caramel Apple and Pumpkin Spice and Door County Maple. And um, each pack, um, it each packet you're supposed to be able to um use the entire package for eight or uh, sorry eight to twelve uh cups well i only make half of that i only make six so i'm going to be able to get two pots of coffee out of each of these which is awesome um so um let me just read you um i had never heard of door county it is in uh wisconsin it says, Welcome to Door County Coffee. We're a small family-owned business that roasts coffee the old-fashioned way in small batches to exacting specifications. We start with the best specialty coffee beans that money can buy, use the most expensive flavorings, and do our very best each and every day to create the most extraordinary coffee you've ever tasted. So, um, and they are um, in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. And I want to thank uh, Calico26, before I leave that out, very important. She is the one, she's on YouTube, and she is the one that sent me, I did a box opening, she sent me lots and lots of coffee from Door County. I think she um, spent a small fortune um, in the Door County store. Um, the Door County Coffee and Tea Company store. Um, so thank you very, very much, first off. And I'm gonna be wearing uh, different clothes during this same video, but I decided to group these three coffees together because they are all the uh, limited edition coffees for fall. And I looked on the website and it looks to me like you can only get these through November. So if any of these sound good to you, just know that you can go on their website and order them, but they'll only be available through November. Now that doesn't mean that they're not good um, much, much longer than that. Um, so today, I think for the, my first coffee from Door County Coffee and Tea Company, I'm going to try the Door County Maple. And it says, hints of pure maple syrup without sweetness. So I'm assuming that, you know, I'm going to, this is coffee just like Maxwell's coffee. I've never had flavored coffee. I know that sounds weird, but I, Wow, that smell just hit me. I, I've never had like Starbucks coffee or anything like this. Um, so this is a completely new experience for me. But I'm assuming that since it's just coffee, I always add sweetener to my coffee. I always add um, creamer to my coffee. I'm gonna try it first with just the sugar packet um, and then uh, see how it tastes with the, cre with the creamer. Um, Gosh, that smells good. So, I have my scoop here that I always use. And I always get like a heaping uh, scoop. And I've already filled my pot up uh, to the six uh, for the water. And so I'm just going to turn that on and let it go. But I can tell you right now, before it even starts, um, that smell, <laughs> that maple smell... That will like knock you off your feet. That's like, gosh, it's like when you go into one of these um, stores that sell um, like um, um, all of the the holiday items, the the wreaths and the knickknacks and the the pillows and the candles and and. Um, but then it smells like there's something good there to eat too. That's what this smells like. And that is the Door County Maple. I just love that smell. It's wonderful. So, and there's definitely, honestly, I think I can get two more pots out of that. So I bet you I'm gonna be able to get three pots out of each of these. So Calico 26, if it makes you feel any better, know that it was money well spent because this is gonna last me a while. So I'm gonna let this go. And then when it is finished, I'll be back. 
Okay, my coffee is ready, and I just want to show you, this is how I'm going to keep it um, sealed and uh, so that it doesn't uh, go stale. Um, I'm going to keep it like that because I have so many coffees to try that um, it's going to take me a little while before I get back to this one. Okay, now I've already put my sweetener in here. I'm going to leave some room for my creamer. I've already put my sweetener in here just because I do not like black coffee. So I'm not even going to try it that way because I don't think that's fair. But I will try it without creamer. My creamer is not flavored though. It's just like regular creamer. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I can tell right now I'm going to get spoiled. I'm just, I've, I've never had flavored coffee before like this. And that is so rich and wonderful. And um, with that coffee and then the my sweetener that I put in it, which is just Splenda Packets. It's great value Splenda Packets. That is delicious. And that's without any creamer at all. So, I don't know that I want to add creamer because here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that my, the, the, the place where I get my calories with my coffee is in my creamer. So, if this coffee is that good, if it's good enough to have with no creamer at all, then I could drink this all day long and have no calories at all. I mean, that's the only reason why I only drink coffee in the afternoon because it's like this special thing and it has all these calories and, and I don't want to waste any more calories during the day. Like earlier today, I was so cold and I was dying for a cup of coffee, but I thought, no, you have to wait till this afternoon because you don't want to have 35 calories for a cup of coffee. Well, if this, this stuff is so good that you don't need the creamer at all, why in the world? I'm not, nope, I'm just gonna drink it like this. I'm gonna enjoy this and I can, I can probably get more like three cups out of this. I can't believe this. This is just awesome. I can't wait. So, I'm really excited. I've got the caramel apple left. I've got the pumpkin spice left. And I hope they don't need creamer either. And, um, cause I can't wait. Cause that means I'll be able to try, I'll be able to have coffee all throughout the day if it's this good by itself. So, um, uh, so this is good. This is a hit. Definitely Door County Maple. Uh, you can definitely taste the maple. It's awesome. Uh, love it. It's phenomenal. If you like maple, you would definitely like this. So I will see you tomorrow. I came in here to get my second cup of coffee and I just wanted to tell you when I walked in, it hit me what it smells like. It doesn't smell like one of those stores with the wreaths and stuff like that. I'm thinking wrong. The reason I'm thinking about that way is because we have a, a 50s type consignment store uh, in the next town over. And it's this really cool store. But anyway, the people that own that own a coffee shop that's connected to it. So you walk into this uh, consignment shop with all this uh, cool 50s and 60s memorabilia in there to buy but you can smell the aroma of the coffee well I never went in there and bought coffee I've bought things from the coffee shop like gum and stuff like that or candy or stuff like that but I've never bought coffee from the coffee shop that's what that smell is. That's why it always smells so wonderful. Kevin and I always walk in and we're like, oh my gosh, it smells so good. But we just never knew what we were missing out on. So anyway, that's what that smells like. It's probably just a really, really good coffee shop and I'm just not used to it. Okay, today I am trying the caramel apple. Uh, this is 
crisp apple with rich creamy caramel and I went ahead and made it just because I'm gonna make it the exact same way every single time uh, but I can tell you I had to leave the room to do something else while it was doing its thing and when I came back in it's just just the smell is just intoxicating I mean it it's just a wonderful um, it's a very sweet smell and I never imagined that I would describe coffee that way I mean just brewed coffee but it smells very sweet to me um, now I did put my sugar in here just like I did yesterday and I'm hoping that like with yesterday's badge um, I did not have to use creamer I'm hoping I won't have to use creamer with this one either because that means zero calories for Tammy so here we go caramel apple Oh, wow. That's very good. I won't need creamer for this one either. Yay, win. <laughs> That's winning if I don't have to use creamer. That's very sweet. Um, wow. That is so good. Uh, and that just... It boggles my mind that I would refer to a coffee as sweet just because I never, I don't consider coffee as sweet. Um, so this, this is very good. Um, I get um, a lot of the caramel. I don't know about the apple so much as the caramel because that's where all that sweetness is coming from. But that's a wonderful cup of coffee right there. I put, um, if you all buy this and get it at, at your house, I, want you, I just want you to know how I make it. I put three sweeteners in there, and I know that would be a lot for some people. And honestly, with this coffee, I'd probably be able to get away with uh, two, just because it is sweet. It, it's just amazing to me. Um, and it doesn't say that it's uh, sweetened or anything. Now the one, I'm thinking the maple specifically said unsweetened without sweetness. Um, so I'm wondering, this, I don't, I can't imagine them adding anything to this though. I mean like a sweetener or so. But that is excellent coffee. I love that very much. Um, when I first opened it, it reminded me a lot of the maple that I had had yesterday as far as the smell goes. The flavor though, and, and once it brewed, uh, the smell, and the, it's very different than the maple. This is, it's very sweet. So anyway, can't wait until uh, tomorrow I get to try the pumpkin spice. I've been saving it for last, but these two have been awesome. So just stay tuned for the pumpkin. Okay, the last coffee in this group that I'm trying for from a Door, Door County Coffee and Tea Company is the Pumpkin Spice, and it says it tastes like pie in a cup. So, I have, um, I've already made it, and I put my sugar in my cup. I use three sugar packets. I'm sure I've said that over and over again. Um, this smells good. Um, smells really good. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't smell as strong um, as the previous uh, coffees, uh, but it still smells really nice. Mm. That's good. I'm tasting, when I opened the bag, I could really smell, um, it smelled like cloves to me, and I love cloves. Um, it smells like cloves, and uh, you get a little bit of cinnamon. Hmm, and that's good. That's a nice, um, that's a really nice drink that will remind you of fall. Um, this is the kind of drink, uh, like if you've ever had wassail, 
Uh, this wool uh, is very reminiscent of wassail. Uh, it's a spiced drink, it's a hot spiced drink. And it, um, growing up, I always had it um, when I, it had been cold outside. It was cold and we would go in um, and very specifically, uh, there's a special um, uh, weekend where all of our stores have open houses and um, a lot of the open houses, a lot of the stores would um, offer wassail to drink and uh, so it was really nice. You could get some wassail and some cookies um, and that's what I would suggest for this coffee in particular is to get you a couple of shortbread biscuits and enjoy those along with this one. This is probably, it's wonderful. This is probably my least favorite though, just because, I don't wanna spill that, just because the, the Door County Maple, uh, the, um, it was just so strong. And of course I tried it first and uh, so, and um, I, I thought the pumpkin spice, I didn't know if it would um, be the strongest or not, but it's funny that I tried this first and I liked it the best of the three. Now, like I said, they're all awesome, awesome coffees and I don't need to use coffee creamer with any of them, which is, um, you don't even know what a plus that is for me. Somebody who counts their calories, um, that I don't have to have that creamer. So, I think the order that I would choose, if, if I had to buy one again, it would definitely be the Door County Maple. Love it, hands down love it. Um, and the smell, if you weren't even in the mood for coffee and you just wanted the smell in your house for company, um, you could brew some of this because it's as good as a candle. Okay, so that would be first, and then the caramel apple, and then the pumpkin spice. They're all three good. Thank you very much uh, to Calico uh, or Scarlet uh, for uh, sending me these. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm gonna be trying a lot more of these. So um, I'm gonna have a whole playlist of the, um, of the items from Wisconsin and even more specifically of the uh, Door County Coffee and Tea Company. So to everyone else, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully I did it justice and uh, thanks for watching.